friends. Rainy day on the homestead. Decided to do a little work in the garage. Yesterday I was able to clear the cedars that were knocked down from my shop site. There's still a lot of work to do, a lot of decisions to be made. But it's really wet out today, so no tractor time for Brian today. But anyway, I thought I would work on brackets for my lean-to on my tractor shed. I decided to go with a quarter inch by six steel, uh, hot roll steels. Here's the layout for the bases. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a two inch flange, then there's a quarter inch, and then there's a six inches for the post. I don't know why I wrote down six and a half, then another quarter inch, and then another two inch. So all I'm doing right now is gonna cut off I'm just going to cut off this line right here. That'll give me my two bases. These are the two base pieces. And uh, when I square up the posts on the lean-to, <coughs> excuse me, I want to uh, base it off the center point. And I'm going to put a half-inch concrete anchor in the center and then one on two on each end. So what I did was, I put a black mark on there with some ink, then I went corner to corner, and I scribed it, and then I took a square, and I hit that center point. That's going to be my center of my half-inch anchor and theoretical center of the post when I square the, the posts up. So what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to go three inches each way, assuming that the post is exactly six inches. And that's where I will weld my uprights. So get these laid out, punched, and drilled get starting on the drilling for the bases I got the five half inch holes for the concrete anchors I'm gonna go at a pretty slow speed with a step drill and just keep pecking at it till I get it done I finished with the step drill on the base pieces. Now I'm going to move up to the uh, the side pieces or the part that holds the six by six. What I plan on doing is going ahead and taking the step drill down through here till I get to the half inch for the center, and then the quarter inch for the four screw holes. And then I'll come back with a uh, on-size drill and go all the way through. After that, I'm going to go ahead and break these corners off where the weld is. And then they'll be all one piece. And I should be ready to start some assembly.
All right, I got all the step drilling done for this four riser plates. Now I got a quarter inch diameter drill in there that I'm just going to drill through all four holes and then move up to the half inch drill and finish the center hole and the five holes in the base plate. <laughs> It's working out all right, and I'm in no hurry, so I may just increase it up one belt to 480, and then I'll finish the rest of the holes. I got the half inch set up. Let's load it back down to its lowest speed, 380. liking it. All right. Got the all four plates, riser plates all done. Deburred and remove the uh, scale. Magnetic clamp thing should put it at 90. And since they're all six inches wide, go right to the mark, and that's how it should be. Let's see how that looks this way. Not even close. Just looking at it, say I'm going to be able to get in there and tack it before. The sample posts is measuring five and seven eighths by six and an eighth. So all I really need to do is go check the actual posts for their dimensions. So let me go do that, and then I can figure out what the best way to go from there is. All right, so I decided to go right to my six inch mark. Let's see it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a little scribe mark. The reason is, if these some of these are the two I pick out are right at six or a little bit wider I can always shave down a little bit of the post and fit it to the bracket as opposed to making it wide enough for the thing and 
then squeezing the flanges together. I think that'll be the way to go. It'll, they'll be custom fit. So the first side is stacked in place. Um, it's squarer than what it shows here, but it's going to be a challenge to keep it square. So throughout the process, I'll just keep doing a little bit on one side and a little bit on the other side and try to pull it, pull it square. And then I'll go ahead and put the second bracket on. I might, might just go ahead and put the, first, the second bracket on now and go from there and then try to square everything up as I go along. got everything all welded together and a couple coats of uh, spray paint on it because they are going to be out in the weather. I just wanted to show you what it looked like when they were done.